Hello! We're in the water! Oh god. We're in the wet, wet water. That's something that water is. Yep, it's often wet, wet, wet. Which was a band, I believe. Yeah. There we go. I don't think I actually need that, so let's not bother getting him. Actually, how many do I have now? 15. I probably need one. I think I've only got... I think I might only have one more mumbo transformation. What, one more crazy little animal? Yeah. Ah. Only, only one more thing to turn into, oh, I think. Is it some kind of fish? Uh, no. Ah. It is not a kind of fish, nor is it an animal, in fact. Oh no, sorry, there are two. There are two more things Tractor? to turn into. One's not an animal, the other is an animal. Tractor. No. Protractor. No. Pro choice. It's a live they're both living things. Tractor. No. Protractor. No. Pro choice. Not again, no. What? Well, uh, Tractor. <sighs> well, it's in a haunt well, it's it's in a haunted mansion. Oh! World of Warcraft. Yeah, no. On we. Um We on. Ah, I see. I see you've played on Wii Wii on before. <laughs> on Wii Wii on. <laughs> <laughs> on Wii Wii on. Bring me the moose. <laughs> the Pompley moose? Pompal moose. Okay. He's a moose and he is very pompally. Good for him. There we go. Whoop. Ow. Shall we do it slowly? And you that jig is sore. Ah. I'm just going to get this Ooh. over as quickly okay. as possible. It's a haunted maison. It is mad monster maison. Alliteration as well. Crikey. I know, right? I do that a lot. What, crikey or alliteration? Cry, cry alliteration. Cry alliteration? Yep. Huh. Is that where every word starts with you bursting into tears? <laughs> Yes. Oh, there, there, Ben. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's not as. Oh. But it probably, it might be. I'm. Yes. I hate when, like, if it, when people are sad and someone comes and goes, oh, don't worry, it might never happen, or could be worse. Maybe it has happened. Maybe it couldn't be worse. How do these people know? They don't know. They're idiots. Don't say this to people. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Stop and talking to me while I'm crying into my whiskey. Mixed messages here. <laughs> if someone's crying into whiskey, I try not to approach them anyway. It feels like they've uh, got their own thing going oh, on. Oh yeah, they got their whiskey in their tears. <laughs> maybe maybe they just... Maybe they're not actually that sad. They just maybe, want to dilute the whiskey. Yeah, they just... The, the pub had whiskey, but no water. They had the 15-year-old Lafroig, and you know what? That's a bit vicious, so let's water it down. Yeah. No shame in that. No, there is no shame in that. So leave them be. You don't know what's going on. Le Oi, teacher. Leave, leave those bees alone. Oh, bzz, and, and that's, bzz, that, that's one of the things that we turn bzz, into in the bzz, next... Bzz, bzz, bzz. You uh, lied. You said there would be a protractor. No, I didn't. Oh. I aggressively did not say this. I don't recall. Okay. Dicks. Dicks, 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 and butts, and dicks, and butts, and butts, and butts, and dicks, and butts, and had to make it sexual. Dicks and butts, and butts, and burner, butts, and burner, butts, and burner, butts, and honeydew. Doctor. Butts, and honeydew. Who's Bunts? Who's Doctor Bunts and Honeydew? Uh, some sort of Muppet. Yes, yes, he is. Hey, um, Doctor. Bunsen, Leave honey you. <laughs> Did he? Did he honey you? Yep. Yeah, he's a beaker's beaker's boss. Yeah. Bunsen, honey you. Bunsen and Beaker. You know what? That only just occurred to me. It's oh funny. my god. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Liam. Wow, I didn't. I thought he was just Beaker because he was. Because he goes, but no, oh my God, it's Beaker because oh, he's good. a scientist. Oh, good, you didn't know either. No. Yeah, and what Bunsen, the... oh, yeah. Bunsen Burner. Yeah, I get Bunsen because he's a 
because Bunsen Burner he's a scientist. Yeah, and Beak is the implement. Beak I, is the thing. I didn't know, and he always seems to like get blown up or something. Yes, because Beak is always. Bre oh my God, Beaker and Bunt. Oh, how did we not? How have we survived this long? I mean, I get run over often, so. Fair enough. Yeah, I only just found out that there was, might be something going on between Kermit and Miss Piggy. Huh. Yeah. Frog bacon. Wee. On wee. On wee. Mm. Lovely chap. Um, I have no idea how to start this, so shall we go house first? I. You're in the uh, driving seat. So. Let's go kind of your house first. High spice. Okay. There's a lot of vandalism. 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 Is that what burglars use as TV? Vandal vision. Perhaps. Ah. That skeleton has got hydrocephalus. You like that word? No, I just know it. You like letting everyone know that you know that word, don't you? Uh, yes. Good. Well, that was a pointless room. What's your favorite word? Oh, um, hit the thing. We have discussed this on the Conversation Hat podcast. We actually. have, but I'll probably give a different answer. Okay. I like the word anti-establishmentarianism. Do you know what it is? No, and I don't think anyone does. I do. I just well, I don't believe it's you. something about churches. It's about. Is it where you um want to go against your anti-establishment? Anti-establishment. No, because it's not established. It's destablished. Yeah, you want to destabilize the establishment. But I you're think against that as well. Destablishmentarianism is being for removing something from churches. I don't know. So if you it... don't want to remove a thing from a church. I think. Should I Google? Why not? I'm gonna just keep getting Google killed. If my battery lasts this long. Um, no, I think that's just like, it's the longest word that, like it's one of the first really long words that people learn, or at least at my school. They only learn it because then they can say, oh no, really long word, anti establishmentarian Oh, it's the opposition to the disestablishment of the Church of England. Good. So, kind of what I said. Well, but not. Really developed. A political position that developed in the 19th century in Britain in opposition to the liberal proposals for the disestablishment of the Church of England, meaning the removal of the Anglican's church status so the Anglican Church's status as a state church of England, Ireland, and Wales. Uh, I like short shots. I, I, I zoned out a lot. So, okay, I'm going to change it to um, squib. It's quite a. It's quite different. It's much more simple. Well. Yes. And I think slim, simplicity is important in... Slim biscuit. Slim, slim biscuity is important in today's uh, society. Cut my cake into pieces. This is my raspberry tort. Mastication. Ugh. Choking. And I like cakes and Gotta stuff. use mouth lube. Sputum. <laughs> That's nasal lube. Nasal lube? Yes. I don't know what I'm saying. Sputum spit. Oh, I thought it was saliva. <clears throat> no, that's sal no saliva is. Oh yeah, it's the same thing. I think sputum is more like phlegm. Uh, it's still spit. I'm not googling these. Go on, Google. No, Google. My phone, my phone literally just died. No, it didn't. As if to say, no, Ben. Don't let Liam question you. You are Liam correct in all alone. ways. Nah. Yeah, no. yeah, pretty sure that's what it's saying. No. Well, you would say no because you're wrong, ain't you? No. You're a, you're a wrongin. You are a thanks, Fanny Man. 
I'm a what? A batty boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Only older, so you're a funny man. <laughs> really get <laughs> I've never called anyone a batty boy before. We're really getting burnt from those late 90s insults. <laughs> yeah. Or early early 2000s, perhaps? Because it was around when I was in secondary school, which was early 2000s. Um, I think I started secondary school in 2000. Sh shut up. No. I have one. It's a toilet. I see that. Are you going to get changed into a toilet? Why would the toilet make farty noises? Why would they call the toilet Logo? Uh, probably some sort of butt joke. It's because you lay a log. Oh, I see. You lay, so, um, you lay some cable. Here's a conversation we can have whilst we're recording. Just set a brick. I want to... Um, I want to start working on our actual voice reels to try and get us some more voice work. Yeah. We're, do we're doing like our own acting thing, we're doing our own voiceover thing, but it might be nice to do some uh, third party voiceover stuff. Sure. In addition to everything else. So, w what are some of the characters f for your voice reel? It's just would, reel, would, reel them off, so to speak. Would these have to be characters, these characters of our own invention? Yeah, or just like different voices that you've done, but like, I think it might be fun to actually put them in the context of this is this character, he comes from this show. Uh, Eli the Donkey. Um, ah, Eli the Donkey, that's one of yours. That's more, yeah, that's sort of an accent, that's but more I don't of an even. Accent, I suppose. I don't really know what this accent is. <laughs> It's Yorkshire. Is it Yorkshire? Ah, it's Yorkshire, is that? I just took it from listening to, um, crap, who are they? Reeves and Mortimer. Ah, Yorkshire. Yeah. I believe Yorkshire. Oh, I can do Yorkshire. Did not know. I found that it's... I'm going to refer to it as Eli the Donkey, though. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I fell... Oh, no. Oh, I've fallen off. Um... I don't like how the, Eli the donkey. The donkey. That's Listen to the Conversation Hat podcast, and you can hear it all about Eli the Donkey. Series two, episode episode five, Eli the Donkey. You'll find it. Oh no, I'm falling. Um, so what are some of your like my favorite character that we developed is? I mean, other than um. <sighs> are you going to mention Bartleby Jizz? Bartleby Jizz, yeah. But Bartleby Jizz is the only character that we've come up with that cannot say his own name because of his amazing speech impediment. Go on. Uh, well, Bartleby Jizz. Yes. Trying to say Bartleby Jizz's name. Bartleby <laughs> Jizz. I love it. He can't say it. Bartleby <laughs> Jizz. He often speaks like this. I mean, that is... Unfortunately. <laughs> Due to the size of his tongue, which gives him his very uh, pronounced lisps. Oh, my face. Um, it means that he cannot say the B or the G. He can't make the sounds for his own name, Bobby <laughs> May it be G. He the donkey. Um, I love Bobby Jizz. Oh, I don't like that we're doing this on the day that I've got a ripped up throat who's the uh you can do a good richard iowadi oh again yeah i could um i think we might have mentioned this on one of our other playthroughs this is not a not a good day for a... um oh, look jen it's banjo <laughs> oh things are coming out of the paintings at him oh he, he's got notes for those of you who don't know richard iowadi it crowd uh, travel man, gadget man, both things that I've really got into watching now. Yeah, there's a really good. Um, I listened to the Adam Buxton podcast um, of Adam and Joe fame, which I didn't ever watch, but I really like his podcast. Uh, Richard Ayoade did an episode of the Adam Buxton podcast that's very good. Uh, I believe Adam Buxton was on an episode of Travel Man with Richard Ayoade. I believe they recorded them simultaneously. They may well have done. Smart people. Fart Sneeple. Whoop. Shard Creeple. Um, there we go. I'm in the chimney. I don't have as many characters. Oh, God, it you. burns! I think I do. 
I do one which I refer to as the queen that is actually not the queen. Oh, that's my favourite one. It's the effeminate, um, how do you describe it? He's sort of loosely based on like pantomime dames and also, um, wow, you're right in his ass. Yep. Uh, it's a character from The Simpsons as well. Oh, um, the guy, uh, yes! Yes! Mm, the Queen! <laughs> oh my! Uh, he's very, very, he's just. <laughs> he just seems to have, like. Whenever, whenever. It, I can't remember, but there was a picture of d dear old Liz popped up on Facebook or something, and you. You just exploded into this. <gasps> oh, the Queen! Um. Was that your first experience of? That voice? was my first, and that's that's why I, that's why I kind of love that that voice that you do. <laughs> so out of the blue. Well, I am. Um, I had a uh, a friend. Ah. Oh, I know. Can you believe such that's a thing? That's nice for you. Who I'm not going to say where I know them from because it's kind of still a secret. But basically, <gasps> they went secret on. Friend. Um, I think it's Britain's Got Talent. Okay. And they they dressed up as this blue bag so like head to toe so you cannot tell who they are all right hence the anonymity and um they got through to the live show but they they wanted like a um, a voiceover introduction with like lots of little bits of music that they yeah. would dance to and then like i did a voiceover that was like once there was a lady <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> And all she wanted to do was perform for the Queen at uh, Britain's Got Talent or whatever. So okay. she went on the show. And, like, she got through. She was on the TV show. But the pricks edited out my voiceover. Oh, no. So you just have this woman get on stage, do, like... It looks like she does four seconds of dancing, but actually the track that... This is a fun Ouija board. The track that she's bleeped out on is, I think, the fifth. So she was actually up there for, like, over half of her routine. It looks like she gets buzzed off immediately, but she doesn't. Um, so, yeah, that was that was a bit of a bummer, but, like, I enjoyed doing it. And that's where the queen voice comes from. <laughs> mm. um, the queen. Okay. No, we do we do need to sort out some of the voices that we do. I can do like um Again, this is not a good day for me to be uh -huh. discussing this. I yeah. can do uh, Frank Spence from Some Mothers Do Have Him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Betty, get down to whoopsie my bear, it caused a lot of trouble. <laughs> Who's gonna see the Queen on Christmas Day then? Jessica. <laughs> the Queen. The Queen <laughs> <laughs> Um Like the the only thing about those is they are quite specific to... Well, yeah, they're not actual, like, but, like characters could always that we... Say, I mean, they're not characters we've invented, but, like, the fact that you can do the voice. So maybe we've oh, got to no. build a character that's loosely based on that person. Um, Without plagiarism. Um, as a voice actor, not necessarily. If we started trying to do a it crowd knockoff or a some mother's knockoff then yeah that would be a problem but like if you've got a character based on another character there's nothing wrong with that okay like i mean peter griffin is based on homer simpson for example like the dumb fat american father trope is a homer simpson thing so like you can't have like without it being based on homer simpson so you can get away with basing things on other things okay so we wouldn't call it Although, like, if anyone hires us for voice work and then watches this, we've screwed ourselves slightly, whatever. But, um, we wouldn't Let's call... be honest, no one watches... <laughs> Yay! No uh, one's gonna want us to work for them. I don't know. Uh, I need to talk to you about some conversations I had last night. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, God, what did you do? Uh, um, it's all good. Um, the... Yeah, so as long as in the voice where we don't say, this is the Richard Iowadi voice. Yeah. Uh, we could be like... You might recognize this from British television. This is a nerd. Works with computers. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. And as long as you don't use his catchphrase, as long as you say some original stuff, I think it's all good. But yeah, I think it's fine to loosely base stuff on people. 
Um, Side's got some really good voices as well. He's voiced the uh, the hat in the conversation hat. Uh, he's also the narrator in Super Ultra Mega Hyper Man thing. Yes, and a couple of the villains as well. Yes, yes, he is. Na, 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 na. Sorry, I was. We need to write surfing. more Super Ultra Mega Hyper Man. We thing. do. I need to talk to you about that as well. Oh crikey! You've got a script, haven't you? Yes. Okay. Blue, blue. blue. Ba -dee, ba -dee, boom. Uh, I mean, voice acting's got to be like, I've watched, um, I, I know that you've watched Archer before. Yes. Um, the woman who plays Pam yeah. in Archer, I've watched, she did sort of like a behind the scenes type thing. Yeah, yeah, I watched thing. that. And it's a lot, like, it looks a lot harder than it actually sounds because you could just go well yeah they're just standing there reading off a piece of paper no you've got to but interact she's got you've got to actually act and some of the things like you're not even you don't know what some of the people will be saying so you've just got the direction yeah. of okay so you're gonna be angry here you're gonna be annoyed here and she also had to eat like oh the, the bear claws, the bear claws enormous donut type oh, things oh, oh, oh. And she had to eat so, so many of these just for a bit where she's going, mm, bear claw. and she was eating donuts for like half an hour. And these are not small donuts. And I know, oh yeah, just talking into a microphone and eating donuts for half an hour. That sounds fun. Does actually. But she did not want to eat the donuts. <laughs> After, you know, 10 minutes of eating donuts, saying bear claw, you, you're going to get a bit bored of it slightly so when you fart an egg out yes like if you miss and it bounces away can you reclaim it i can pick it back up yeah oh it, sweet it's not like pokemon go uh, where okay if you use a pokeball you can't just tap on it or you can't just wander around and pick it up i feel like that's exactly what you could do in pokemon if it were real yeah that would be but not in pokemon go I'm not doing well here. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Hip. Yay. Cool. Um, well, we will see you guys next time. Okay. Hope you enjoy. You sure, sure don't want to just do this last... Uh, I don't know. What's the last bit? I think this is the last one. Really? What last part? This is the last part. Hooray. No, it wasn't. I lie. Ha <laughs> ha. Through the window. Away. See you next time. Bye.